Okay, so in the previous video we talked about subtraction using column method and I talked about it being a, a formal method or one that's been around for a little while. This is a slightly different version but it does achieve the same uh, ends and the way that we do that is we look at uh, writing the numbers as a column um, and recognising that these are units and these are tens. Okay, so at the moment I have four units take away eight units or four suites and I want to take eight away. Well, I can't do that. So what I have to do is I have to borrow from the tens column. Okay, because I'm borrowing from the tens column, I'm going to now make that number here 14 and also I'm going to reduce that to four. Okay. So now I have two calculations, 14 take away 8, which is 6, and 4 take away 1, which is 3. Um, and this is a way that I see uh, a lot of students doing. It's perfectly acceptable. It works perfectly well. It means 54 take away 18 is 36. And the method can be used for quite large numbers as well. So here we have 5 take away 2 which is 3 and then in the middle there I have 6 take away 9 well I can't do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that 16 and because I'm borrowing 10 if you like um, I now will reduce that to 6 so what it means now is I have a calculation in the middle which will work for me and a calculation at this side which will also work so 16 take away 9 is 7 so I write my 7 down, and the last one is 6 take away 4, which is 2. So the answer to 765 take away 492 is 273. Um, it's a perfectly good method, it does work very well. The only thing about it is that you need to be really quite disciplined as to when you cross things out and write in the new number, because otherwise it can get a bit confusing, particularly with some of the larger numbers. And providing you take your time and you work through it methodically, then you should be able to get a good calculation at the end of it. Uh, I hope that's okay. If you visit the site, there are uh, worksheets and learning sheets and you can practice these calculations, whichever method you choose is absolutely fine.